we've got $10.80 from Holdolsky that says, another donation because Taskbot wills it. And it uh, looks like we have a minor technical issue, so I will uh, let everyone know that we are switching up the schedule just a little bit. So we're uh, moving um, Hacky Zack down. Um, that will be happening after uh, half coordinated runs here of Armed with Wings and uh, Tiger. So a Hacky Sack will be after that. And um, we'll be switching out announcers here as well. So we've got um, Bob the Ninja Goldfish coming up next. And I've uh, been Dark Twinch. Thank you for joining me for these awesome indie games. And uh, hope you stick around for several awesome games to come. If you will all uh, indulge me for a quick moment before we get to the awesome runs that are coming up. Um, after my last hosting shift on Wednesday, uh, I got the news that one of my best friends in the world had passed away suddenly that day. Um, I didn't even know if I should be sitting in this chair right now, but I realized that is what he would want me to do. You want me to do this thing that makes me so proud. So this one's for you, Mansa. Um, that being said, my name is Bob the Ninja Goldfish, and welcome back to AGDQ 2018. How's everybody in the crowd doing today? Nah, we can do better than that. How are we doing today? That's what I'm talking about. So, we're going to be doing uh, half coordinated runs here because we're having to move Hacky Zack back a little bit. Uh, we apologize for that, but technical issues are as they will. Now, I've actually updated my name on the tracker. We should uh, be good. Let's see what we got here. $30 from Shawnee B saying, I've been wanting to donate to a charity stream for a while, so no, not, why not one near and dear to my heart? I lost my mother to colon and liver cancer back in 2012, and earlier this week we got the news that my father has brain cancer. Anything I can do to help destroy this horrible disease, I'm all for. Keep up the good work, everybody. $10.80 from Anonymous, who says, shout outs to my girlfriend who's right next to me watching this with me. Few is keeping me home this year, but at least it's timed up perfectly with this event. You have your girlfriend on the couch and I'm sat next to Taskball. I think we're both doing pretty well. So, Believe donates $50 and says, Ventus is cooler than Aqua, so I am donating to that. That is the Armed with Wings color palette. So blue is currently at $380.55 and purple is at $377.80. It's like $3 apart. So you've got like maybe 30 seconds to get a donation in if you want to snipe for purple. $40 from Austin126 says, AGDQ is always amazing, but it's even better when the game being run is being done by one of your friends. Zach Bell is an awesome guy and has helped me countless times with Game Maker bugs. Plus, he's made so many of his own tutorials and examples free for anyone who wants to learn Game Maker. Zach, I hope you're watching. Now let's kick cancer. Mr. Casey361 donates $30 and says, I'd love to see the Super Monkey Ball task. Let's make it happen, people.
I have a $150 donation. That's applause time. Kevin190 says, good luck, Hornlets. Looking forward to racing some Celeste SGDQ. That goes for you too, Twinge. Much love, bros. Donation to Runner's Choice. So we'll pass that along. I have $50 from Freya Bird, who says, thanks for the late night compensating, Bob. Wreck it, runners. Hey, this is about the runners and the games, man. Anonymous $50 donation says, first time donor, been watching GDQ for a few years, and decided to finally chip in. This one's for Taspot. Okay? Taspot says thank you. Big Ol's uh, sends twenty dollars and says, "Here is to appease our Taskbot Overlord, be it only slightly. He is pleased with your offering and demands more." I have a five hundred dollar donation. from Nil, who says, excellent run so far, and it's wonderful what everybody is doing. Keep up the great work. We absolutely appreciate your donation. Jorster sends $10.80 and says, it's a Luigi world now. $10 from an anonymous donor who says, donating because this announcer got the crowd worked up. My man, huge props to the organizers and runners and all the folks doing background work. It is my pleasure to do so. It may be three o'clock in the morning here on the East Coast, but it's 10 o'clock in the morning somewhere. So the least we can do is have a little bit of hype. I have $11 from Jalen Ancraft, who says, I had cancer and my aunt died from breast cancer. Please keep the donations going, chat. It does work. And I want to underline that it's not essential that you guys who are watching have to donate. Um, if you don't feel you don't have the money to donate or anything like that, just tweet us out on social media. Get on your Facebook, spread us with AGDQ 2018. I nearly said 16. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Don't you laugh at me, Railcoon. <laughs> Tweet us out of the hashtag AGDQ 2018. Get eyes coming in. Maybe someone's never seen Armed with Wings and is about to s dislike what Half's about to do so to it. So, yeah. It's been an interesting day. I do, however, have $50 from Fogg, who says, hey, half, good luck on the runs, and be sure to take her my energy. I hear it'll give you wings. I'm putting this towards Taskbot Super Monkey Ball bonus runs. Can I get a collective boo from the crowd for those puns? Who yayed? Who yayed? I will find you. I have a very specific set of skills. Okay. Space Warp sends twenty-five dollars. Says I don't usually catch GDQ live, so I'm taking the opportunity to donate. Please put this to Taskbot's choice. I think we know what Taskbot's going to put that towards. Some naming incentive, probably, because he's a bit of a troll. Um, Okay, so with that, it is time. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one and only Half Coordinated. <laughs> All right. 
So uh, what ended up winning there? Final refresh for the uh, palette. It is blue in first place with $451.35 and purple in second place with $418. Oh, Solid close. choices. So blue it is. So this um, is uh, armed with wings, uh, rearmed. It's sort of an action platformer game. I'm running New Game Plus Lone Warrior, which is the default character. Um, New Game Plus is very important because the sword that you have equipped determines the abilities that you have. And this one gives us teleport and jump. You normally can't jump. And you'll see later that's very important that we can jump. Uh, it breaks a lot of things. And I'd say I am ready to go if Bob could give me a countdown. I certainly can, sir. And I would like the crowd to give me a hand on this one if you don't mind. You ready? Three. Two, one, go! Yeah! Woo. All right, so uh, right away, doing slashes while you're jumping, or, or we can just fall. That's <laughs> totally a thing we can do. Uh, but doing slashes while jumping gives you uh, more height than normally intended from a jump. Uh, and we're also doing something called lunge boosting, where we cancel a lunge with a, um, with a jump, because jumps just seem to cancel almost everything, really. And uh, that continu continues the momentum from the lunge uh, into the jump, so we can just go flying, like so. And this will break a lot of things. Uh, so we got killed by the evil Lord Van here. The, these things are bringing us back to go get revenge or something. That's the plot. That's what, that, that's what you need to know. And we have a bird. Was but the bird also killed by the evil Lord? No, the bird was waiting for us. It's, oh, it's thank all goodness. good. Yeah, Just no a bird regular violence. Bird. Regular bird. <laughs> so uh, you just noticed we kind of just went straight through a wall. Um, so when you're doing the lunge boost and you just uh, do an air slash uh, and when that air slash is ending when you come in contact with a wall or when you still have the momentum, it will kind of just clip you right through uh, as so and often kind of acting as an elevator. So walls are more not just suggestions, they're elevators in this game. <laughs> and this one is that one's fun. It, uh, it's uh, kind of amazing how convenient it really is. It just puts you where, where you want. Uh, just a great example of unintended mechanics working with intended gameplay in a very smooth uh, fashion. So. Oh, no. That enemy can be a bit of a pain. And so here, this level has like an arena battle where we're supposed to fight three waves of enemies, but we really just, we don't have time for that. So we're not going to. We just go straight over it instead. Here was the first instance of using a charge attack. We have to break this wall. We can't clip through it. And then just kind of continue zooming right along using our wall elevators and such. So this is going to be uh, one of the things. We cannot clip through these particular walls that have bumps. It's walls basically have to be smooth, for, uh, smooth and vertical for us to actually clip through them properly. Uh, yes, properly. But um, <laughs> So we do have to kill all of these. And here, this is going to be a boss level, level 13. There is a hole in the wall here that just teleports <laughs> us to the boss room straight away. It's not actually a clip. It's just a, a dev shortcut, basically. And then we teleport past the boss and just exit instead. <laughs> we didn't need to fight him. He gets to live another day. <laughs> and... Uh, and uh, moving on through, uh, maybe a donation or two, Bob? Absolutely. Fifty dollars from Brendan One Nine Five. He says, "Half coordinate is my favorite runner, so I got to donate during the run." 
Watching the crush Momodora blew me away. My whole family has a long, exhausting history with cancer. For my aunt, both sisters, and even my three-month-old nephew, let's get cancer out of here. Donation to Runner's Choice. All right. Appreciated. Appreciated. Uh, maybe one more. Oh, absolutely. I'll keep going until you tell me not to. Okay. Um, stayed up all night to watch Heart of Coordinates run. Good luck, have fun, and wear those cat ears. That was $15 from Juniper KR0. Uh-oh. I accidentally clipped out of the level. Oops. <laughs> you can do that? When you say accidentally, do you mean accidentally or do you mean PJ accidentally? Um, both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But has that happened before? Yes, it has absolutely happened before. Aw. I'm sorry to disappoint. But, uh, so here there's supposed to, there's, so there's a spike wall that's supposed to kind of drop down on us, but we, go we jump over the trigger for that to begin. So it never comes down, <laughs> and we just kind of exit the level normally. Uh, a nice thing about launch boosting is you can go straight through pistons. Like they're not even there. Things. And just finish a level and everything's fine. It's all fine. There's supposed to be a long bird puzzle here. You don't do any of that. <laughs> There's no need. Well done. Thank you. I appreciate you, Mancha. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this stage, you want to be a little careful on uh, not getting too much height. So if I had done a normal jump slash, I would have just gone straight into spikes above my head. And that would have been sad. Because uh, spikes are instant kills in this game. So here's a boss. We will actually end up fighting him. Uh, we are going to go a little slower than we can, because otherwise he will spawn in the actual arena in a bad place. So I had to kind of take it a little bit easy. And just going to do a little bit of, oh, knocking me away there. OK. So they go underground for a little bit, pop back, bounce twice. Then we put rocks in their face. Oh. You can cancel uh, getting hit usually uh, with uh, the um, lunge attack if you time it properly. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Up you go. So this is one of the harder clips, I would say. Uh, yeah, OK. We're going to get it right, though. There we go. Because that is not a flat wall. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. That stage in general is a little rough. So this next one, this one here, 26, is a, another boss arena. Uh, or not an arena boss, but an arena battle. But we just go over it and get just land on the other side of it instead. So guys, it's wave one. Yeah. <laughs> Good fight. We did it. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't explained much about the bird. We do use the bird to do various puzzles. Um, don't use it a lot in the run. This is one where we do have to use the bird, and I messed up. He does have a limited uh, meter here, and uh, these pillars can be a little bit troublesome, so let's, let's be a little careful. All right, good, good. But really, just how well the lunge boost works with the uh, regular gameplay is impressive, because it's like, it just sent me right here. That's where <laughs> I needed to go. It's great. Okay. And here, clipping in, it puts me right on the button. How convenient. How convenient. Thank you, Daniel Sun, for laying out the level in such a manner. That is the developer of this game. This game was made by one person, including the music. So, he did a very good job. This is an excellent game. By the way, hardest level. Ooh. Ah. Man. Ooh, man. We're all sweating after that one. Yes. So, that one uh, was so short because I took a secret exit out of the uh, previous one. And that'll change sometimes where you spawn in the next level. Uh, so, it kind of just skipped a large puzzle. Oh, sure. That wasn't where I wanted to go. Okay. 
But we're supposed to do another arena sort of fight here. Instead, we kind of just fall through the... <laughs> to the next level. It's okay. It's all good. Oh. That is the wrong button. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Those were spikes. They are they still work. They're still spiky. Confirmed. I'm glad we checked. Yes. Now we can rest easy. That was close. Okay, so the next few levels, I think Bob could read more donations from the wonderful donors. That's good, because when you said Spike, I thought it was getting replaced for a minute. No, no, <laughs> it's, I could never. Uh, so I have $50 from Teen Hacks 112 says, shout out to the nicest person in gaming. I appreciate that, Teen. Oh, you meant half coordinated. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you for being so amazing. Please keep on being you. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Thank you, Tina. I have uh, $101.01 from Ten Matchy. He says, To Bob, thank you for what you're doing for GDQ and PCF. I'm so proud of you right now. I'm sure your friend is too. Much love from the West Coast. Donation to your choice. And like I said, I am sat three feet from Tazbot, so it's probably going to that, or you might break <laughs> my knees. Um, Don't want that. Yeah, no. $20 from Misky69 says, to half coordinated the Mr. Rogers of speedrunning. <laughs> Your calm, kind, and thoughtful demeanor brings so much to this community in this event. Thank you for everything you do, and also regularly reminding everybody on Twitter that video games are pretty heckin' great. They are heckin' good. <laughs> Gotta love them video games. $11 from Sir Battlehawk, who says, I've got to donate during half coordinated's run. His speech from SGDQ 2016 still inspires me to this day. You rock, man. Good luck on the run. Thank you. We're fighting, uh, so the final boss is split up into two different levels, 39 and 40. Um, so this one, pretty standard. He just kind of teleports behind you after you wail on him a little bit. Uh, eventually, he will get uh, super armor for each hit, so he won't be stunned, which is happening right now. Um, and it'll just kind of often hit me away, unfortunately. And then after we hit him here, he remembers that he has a sword that he could have used. <laughs> so he picks that up, and it's a pretty neat looking sword. I'm kind of jealous. But so now, still a very similar fight for the first part of it. It's a little bit faster to uh, jump over his sword attack, uh, usually instead of doing a dodge. Conveniently, the button that skips uh, text it also makes me do a lunge right away. <laughs> and then uh, get sort of ready on time. Uh, so there's, he goes super mode and just has no uh, hits done anymore as well. Um, so we just kind of have to dodge. Oh, that's a lot of ice. Because this is actually supposed to be a scripted death. You're supposed to die and respawn. But uh, almost done. And time. Nice job. Thanks. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, Armed with Wings. It's a great uh, little game, again, made by uh, uh, Daniel Sutter D. Sun. Uh, do, it's not too expensive, and it's a really fun, well-made game. I know I kind of broke parts of it, but <laughs> it, trust me, it's a well-made game, and like a lot of that stuff doesn't even can't show up in a first playthrough, so have fun with video games. <laughs> yeah, and that was Armed with Wings Rearmed.